Didn't Akon give Africa like light bulbs or something? Yeah, yeah, I think so. He, gave he also just got Africa light bulbs. Well, bulb. you know why he's rich as fuck? Is he signed Lady Gaga? Lady Gaga. He got the, all that Lady Gaga paper. He, yeah, he gets a yeah, little Lady piece Gaga, of that. who's leading the charge in uh, in the petition to to have the electors, uh, you know, give Hillary the the presidency. Anyways, well, it's only right, dude. Yeah. Yo, what the fuck is that? Peti- like, people think really. Well, that, they don't have to vote for Donald Trump. They could save America. They technically don't, but that... that but, like, that, what's the petition going to do? There would be domestic terrorism, if for sure. There, there would be, would be militia be, just go, like, absolutely, like, it would, storming. It, it, it would be, it would be guys... Parades, it would be, dude. like, fucking McVeigh-level bombings by yeah. right-wing extremists if they did that. Damn, that would be fucking... Because those are the guys that are just fucking waiting for an excuse. Right. Right. You know, I mean, what did what did the fucking the the Bundy shit happen over like a post office? I think that they yeah. wanted to like you know put Take down a calendar or something. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to let their calendar. They wanted to get rid of the Garfield calendar in a post office. <laughs> oh, like, Not Oregon? my fucking. This is my country. <laughs> no, it was a land rights issue. Yeah, something. Yeah, there was like, but, but they took from... over. I know what it was, but it's <laughs> I, it's doing a He's bit doing out a joke. of them. You don't have to fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it> was, <laughs> you fucking loser! Their cattle, beach ass. Adam you Friedland beach ass. is a beach ass motherfucker. motherfucker. This is why you are not allowed to come on the pirate missions. <laughs> <laughs> you must stay here and and get AIDS, <laughs> like the women. <laughs> stay here in the village. <laughs> oh, <fuck>. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a good bit, boys. Yeah. Uh, we were periscoping that guy in the car. <laughs> African guy? Yeah. <laughs> I do a pretty good one. Yeah? Oh, you're from Africa. Yeah. I always forget that you're African American. African American. Yeah. Now, wait, so... That's why you, I got into Harvard. Uh, so, <laughs> you could join the National African American Colored People Association. National Association. The National Don't you mean Af- the... National the NWACP. The NWACP. Yeah. That's the best thing anyone's Who ever said. Who said that? My friend Eric. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That's the whole thing about the fucking... Yeah. Her what's w- her name? Rachel Transracial. Right, Rachel right, right. Dolezal. Derek. Could, could you join the NWA? There's this batch. <laughs> okay. There's this batch in Spokane. No, he's not a colored person. It's only for people of color. So it was smart that they named mm. it that, because that was a bit when I was growing up. There people were like, what, colored? And it's like, you know, it's smart. Now they're just, you know, people like Adam... Can't game the system. Right, right, right. Yeah. Like the United Negro College Fund. Mm-hmm. Again, you another smart choice. There. Ah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. It's not Africa. Nothing to do with Africa. Right. Smart. Yeah. The only African-American thing is the uh, uh, NCAA. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah, or USAA. <laughs> you can get USAA. <laughs> you get your car towed. <laughs> I already got it. <clears throat> oh, fuck. What's up, dude? You tired? Uh, no, I'm just sick. It's fine. I'm sorry, buddy. You don't have to talk about it on the podcast. Yeah, well, we're tired because I've been at work since 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and I... Uh, I work for a living, dude. And I made an omelet. I made a salad today. I'm trying to be healthy, boys. So I'm you trying getting to, back on the I'm health kick, I'm trying to get buddy? back on the health kick. I'm trying to, you know, summer 17, I'm out there. I'm sucking. I'm fucking, dude. That's what it is. Did you get laid in D.C.? Ah, I did, but what it was. Why are you exhaling like that? Good, that's it was cool like, right there. It was it was a tough one, dude. Yeah, he's what been complaining about one? this for like three days. I haven't been complaining. Adam brought it up. Just a girl that I wasn't that interested in was talking to me, and I was like, oh, I don't really want to, you know. Yeah. And then she was like, Hey, do you want to? Was she a com? A com- no, no, Was no, she no. in the scene or? She just saw the show. She was just at the show, and uh, she was just like, Hey, do you want to have sex with me? Yeah. So so you say yes, and obviously. I was like, ah, All right. And then I did, and it wasn't that good. And, you know, I didn't bring my A game. You know, it was tough. She had a nicer, she had a really nice apartment. Well, that's I felt nice. like I couldn't fuck it. Well, how I feel like I, bad? I feel like I didn't deserve to fuck in that apartment. Oh, because it was a nice apartment? It was too nice for me, dude. Did you have a telescope? Huh? Did she have a telescope? I love that. She had a skylight. That no no telescope. That always up with telescope. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. going to get a big-ass telescope for my room. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> look at what? You have no windows. <laughs> just fill the room up. Your windows. Kinds <laughs> of telescopes. Guys, Welcome to the, the Discovery Channel, bitch. <laughs> Bill, 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 Bill. <laughs> Bill Nye, the science guy. Uh, Do you think Bill chants like that when he fucks? Bill Nye? Yeah, yeah hell yeah. Bill. Bill, Bill, shut up, bitch. Just, yeah, Bill, <laughs> Bill, Bill, inertia is a property of matter. Bill, Bill, Bill. Ouch, Bill. Bill is not a good lover, dude. You Whatever. think Bill Nye fucks good for you? Know what, you know what show is so much better than Bill Nye's Science Guy show? What? Beekman's World, the the Brooklyn Bill Nye Science Guy. I remember guy. that. I don't remember oh, that. Holy shit, dude. There was another show that was basically Bill Nye the <laughs> yeah. Science Guy, but it was Beekman's World, and this guy, he was like a scientist. He's like, yeah, it's me, Beekman. <laughs> yeah, you want to learn something, you fucking <laughs> faggot? <laughs> it was low budget as fuck, too. Yeah, it was yeah, awesome. Yeah. Was it PBS? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah it really? came on like right before Bill Nye the Science Guy. Yeah, Whoa. dude. Yeah, it was off brand. He had like a hot assistant. Yeah, she, Jax. He definitely fucked her. Yeah, Jax, the hot assistant. Who is Beekman? He was just some guy. Just some like Brooklyn scientist. <laughs> yeah. you know? just a guy. Yeah, I'm from Bay Ridge. I do experiments, <laughs> hey. mostly phrenology about the different races yeah. and shit like yeah, yeah. that. But you I know. got calipers. I'm in the union. <laughs> 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 the thing is, their heads. They ain't got a big enough brain, though. Yeah, you know? if, they, if they are too big, I'll cave the goddamn skull in <laughs> with my calipers. <laughs> yeah, Beekman was tight, dude. I remember that shit. Yeah, I preferred Beekman. Beekman definitely fucks better than Bill Nye, for yeah. sure. Bill what? Nye probably Bill Nye's fuck good. like on the news all the time now. They're like, oh, yeah, now for a science expert, Bill Nye. And I was like, I thought he was for babies. Now I he's think for adults. He's just a fucking, he's got like oh, a, he's, a, he's got an engineering so degree. He's like, you know, he's like Neil deGrasse Tyson or who's that Japanese guy who always sits in that yeah, white yeah, room? Yeah, yeah. Hayosaki Huro, Huro, the, ha, Hurohima? Yeah, it's, it's Kurumasaki Toyota. <laughs> Kuro, <laughs> Suzuki Riro. What's his name? Sushirito. Uh,. A Kamakaki Mahomato. Hiro. Hirohito Okamoto. Hi Do you guys ever fuck with Okamoto crowns? What's the guy's real name? I don't know what his name is. <laughs> uh, fucking oh, Dice, <laughs> Daisuke, uh, Daisuke Matsuzaka. Daisuke Matsuzaka. Fuck it. Fuck it. Andrew Dice Clay, uh, Clay Beyond, Makazaka. Uh, <laughs> 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 is there all a hooriza? Yeah, yeah. Hickory. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Hickory dick. Dickory. <laughs> Hickory dickory no. dick. No. No. Oh, no. I'm screwing up the crack. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Hickley. <laughs> oh, don't do it. <laughs> oh, Hickley. Don't do it. <laughs> Hickley. Don't do it. There's absolutely no way that <laughs> Kumia hasn't already done Andrew Rice Clay. <laughs> Andrew Rice Clay. Yeah, there's no way he hasn't done it already. He's done every iterate. Have that you ever seen? Really have you ever good. seen Kumia do Andrew Dice Gay? Oh, it's one uh, of the funniest uh, things on it's earth. It's so funny. I suck this I fucking, suck cock. fucking cock. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. really good. Fuck. We should look that up. I oh, want to watch it. that. People forget that he's funny. He's funny as shit. Because you know? he's racist. No, Kumio. Kumio. Oh, Kumio's, Kumio's really funny, dude. Dice is a very funny. Ah, Dice, Dice is whatever. I don't know, man. The Day Laughter Died is like my favorite comedy album of all time. I mean, it's... Well, yeah, but that's like... F yeah, but it's irony. That's irony. I know. Yeah, that's irony. I know, I know, I know. But there's just... And yes, Dice sucks. His and as like bad, a piece of art, it's incredibly it's fascinating. Dude. And like yeah. I've listened to that more than I listen to any comedy album for sure. Well, there's another one, the Neil Hamburger one, the one Hot that February Night. That amazing. That's that one of the best things I've ever. That's really? incredible. Yeah, he's opening for Tenacious D at Madison Square Garden, uh -huh. and they said, "All right, like you do like <laughs> you do like thirty, and." Uh, Tenacious D's fans are just like rabid and they don't give a fuck about right, it. He's right. bombing from the first punch. No one line. knows who the fuck he is. No one knows who he is. He looks like a shitty comic. Yeah, he opens with, uh, What did Santa Claus get Paris Hilton for Christmas? <laughs> and people are like, Boo! <laughs> and, it's like, and then he's like, He raped her. <laughs> 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 well, he raped her. Yeah, and then and then he just so he's getting booed by I'd say ninety percent of the stadium. Ten percent of the stadium is maybe behind That's it. That's awesome. Slash confused. Right, right, right. And 
but like bombing for a sports stadium. That's, yeah, that's, that's real some, bombing. That's real bombing. Yeah. And the fact that he could just stay out there and then he kept faking out the audience. He's like, give it up for the reason you're all here tonight. And then he like builds it up and he'd be like, tenacious D's curtain. Tenacious D's curtain. You know, <laughs> yeah. people are just like, like we want the D. And yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Throwing things at us. I got, I got, booed, I got booed at Caroline's a uh, week and a half ago. Really? At New York's Funniest? No, no. At another show, I was just doing at Caroline's because I was like, uh, there's some like, uh, you know, I was asking people. I, I just looked at the audience. There was a woman there. I'm like, who are you voting for? And I was like, Hillary, probably, right? And uh, she was like, no. And they were like, why would you assume that? I'm like, I don't know, because she's a woman. Right. And then people are like, boo. Really? Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean, boo? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You don't get to boo me. <laughs> if she's voting for Trump, I mean, that's a surprise. Why would you assume she was voting right, for right. Trump? Well, In New York? Was it a Trump cr- I mean, it was probably fucking tourists and shit. Yeah, I guess it was a Trump Caroline's crowd. Caroline's all fucking... But then here's the other thing, though. If it's a Trump crowd, they're not allowed to be offended. Right. I hate that shit, dude. Yeah. That's the same shit that happened at, at Comics Come Home. Did, that uh, oh dude, the funny, dude. that was so funny. Like people were tweeting at Nick DePaul. So at Comics Come Home last week, Wanda Sykes went up. It's his she, big. It's his big benefit. Going, she started going off about how much she hates Donald Trump, and the crowd starts. Nick booing DePaul her. is a Republican, though. Nick right? DePaul goes up after her, and then starts going the other direction. Yeah, he's like, and he's I like, voted for Trump. Yeah, he's like, I voted for Trump. All these fag. You know, <laughs> yeah, you I, I don't know what he said. Yeah, yeah, and he that. called, dude, he called some woman a Jew. He was like. <laughs> 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 he just pointed her out and called her a fucking yeah. Jew. You can oh, imagine man. what what Nick DiPaolo said. Yeah, and uh, and then so on Twitter, people are like tweeting at at Nick like, uh, "You did great, Wanda fucking sucked or whatever." And, yeah, like, yeah, saying, yeah. and he's retweeting it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then and then so like. Uh, at a certain point, uh, someone was like, you fucking suck, dude. You're not welcome in Boston. This is like a liberal city. And he's like, you fucking bombed. And Nick DiPaolo responds to it. And this this tweet that said that to him had like one fade. Yeah. <laughs> no one saw it. And then Nick DiPaolo responds to it. He's like, yeah, and how did fucking Wanda do, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, just throwing her under the bus for yeah. no reason. Not just responding, but I think he quote tweeted it too. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. responded to Damn. it. <laughs> But that's so bus. It's he's, so funny He's real funny dude He's funny yeah. shit mm-hmm. But the idea yeah. that you would have Wanda Sykes Followed by Nick DiPaolo The week Yeah he's fucking wins Is like The funniest combination Who's doing on that Yeah Whoa. Just a black lesbian A black lesbian by and then a The most outspoken Does not Italian give a fuck Libertarian Republican. asshole Not even libertarian Republican, Republican. Yeah. Conservative Republican is he, He's not like Christian conservative Is he? No he's no, like, no, I don't know really Wanda Republican. Sykes Was from Boston she is? I thought she's from I D.C. She she's from D.C. Yeah. I don't know. She she's like D.C. scene. I don't know, man. Everyone claims everybody. I don't know where she's from. That's true. Yeah, D.C. tries to claim Louis Black sometimes. Well, he, he was born Oswald. there. Yeah. Yeah. He went to high school in Silver Spring. Yeah, so oh, really? At the same time as Goldie Hawn, Sylvester Stallone, and Ben Stein. That's true. That's a power quad- quadruplet. Yeah. They all, they all went to the same You think Ben Stein ever fucked Goldie Hawn? Uh, yeah, probably. What about Sly? You know, I, I didn't know that Sly, the reason he talks like that... Because he was paralyzed. Bell's yeah, palsy from birth. calipers. Yeah. They were trying to measure his skull <laughs> to see uh, see what race he was. <laughs> <laughs> because his family was Italian, and you could never be sure with them. Right, yeah, yeah, right. How much true. more blood is in their system? Yeah, yeah I thought that the mom was lying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I've seen too many fucking Moulinans <laughs> coming in and out of here. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about this, Deborah. Hey, the yeah. kid's strong as hell. <laughs> My wife is smelling. Like a peanut grease. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you smell like a peanut oil. Why are the doorknobs are slippery? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. fuck. Damn, we did talk about Sly in high school already. No, but we I, didn't. Did I we? think we did. It came up. Sly in high school? I think so. When? I feel like we did. I wanted. I mean, I wanted to... Th- what do you think Sly Stallone was like in high school? Beautiful, right? Fucked uh, a lot? I don't know. All I know is that he slept in the Port Authority bus station and then did a softcore porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he wrote Rocky in what he says, uh, 12 hours. Yeah. <laughs> or, no, he said, I think he says, like, 
he wrote in three days, no sleep. <laughs> just sit there, type machine. Yeah, it shows. Three days. <laughs> Rocky One's a good movie. It's a good movie. I mean, I don't know how good it is as a screenplay. Right. Yeah. The, yeah. The, well, it did the, win best screenplay that year. Yeah. So he's gonna fall in love with the retarded girl. Yeah. You know what? I mean, I don't. I probably mentioned it on on the podcast before, but one of my favorite things about Rocky in the beginning of the movie when he's like dealing with the the mob guys that he's an enforcer yeah, for. Yeah. They're trying to get him to hand the money he owes, you know, from his collection run over and like the two other enforcers are in a car and they're like, uh, hey, Rock, why don't you bring that girl that you like to the zoo? And he's like, you yeah, was that? And uh, he goes, because uh, I hear retards love the zoo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, you piece of shit. I love it. He starts chasing after the car. They speed off. <laughs> Rocky three. Rocky gets brain damage. You know, and yeah. Adrian brings him to the zoo. Oh, and it, what? Yeah, in the end of the movie, Whoa. he's like, you know, oh, we love the zoo. And I don't know if they knew that That's or not. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. You also did a good slide with the L. The love. The, the way. You yeah, I love the zoo. Love the zoo. <laughs> you know, when, I, when you were a little baby, you used to fit in my hand. <laughs> That's the speech from... Uh, yeah, I used to totally tell this little baby going to grow up from one day. Creed? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Creed. Everybody I saw. Shit, dude. Told that was me, probably you know the last I mean? good movie he made ever. Creed was so goddamn <laughs> it good. Was so good. Creed's good, but he's not playing Rocky in that fucking movie. That's what a different mean? character. Rocky's not that smart or insightful. No, no, Rocky's, a life, Rocky's dumb a fucking Hey, a life full of fucking yeah, but wisdom, he's had a life. He's got brain damage. He would have been working since at that point. He's been he working got, in an uh, Italian restaurant cancer. and learning lessons. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's wise. You know? After Tommy Gunn, he learned a lot. He went to community dude, my college. My pecs were just straight up flexed for like 48 hours. I was just ready to fight. <clears throat> Dude, I wanted a fucking just Jordan sweatsuit. I was going to oh, start jogging. So cool. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah. yeah, I remember when you saw that movie, you immediately texted me and told me you're getting a Jordan sweatsuit. Because <laughs> yeah. that's the first step in losing weight. It's true. Dude, it's if I don't have the buying, gear, buying, how the fuck am I going to do it? Buying clothes with equipment. elastic uh, <laughs> <laughs> elastic bands. You need Dude, the Jordan sweatsuit. Clothing. You need the 12 o'clock boys. I need the 12 like, o'clock Boys running, to riding around right, with doing you. Doing wheelies, wheelies all around while you. I run. As you, run. you can't work out if you don't have them. Absolutely yeah, not, yeah. dude. Fuck, uh, I literally, for three days after I watched that movie, just fucking ate nothing but vegetables and like <laughs> <laughs> fucking did push-ups really and shit. Turn this thing around. And yeah. then I don't know what happened, but, you know, I got a little derailed, but I'm getting back in there. Yeah. Nah, there's really no point in trying to better your life. You don't think so? Nah. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs>